It has been exactly one year since I posted my first cream and I decided it was time to do an update. This cream will be a little higher calorie, but will have all of the mix-ins and will still fill you up like any cream on this channel. So today in the anabolic laboratory, we will be making a cinnamon toast crunch cream that will actually include the cinnamon toast crunch this time. My name is Nick. I have my master's in exercise physiology and I make anabolic recipes such as this one and do pretty much anything in the fitness industry. So if you like good recipes that don't make you pack on the pounds, then like this video and subscribe to the channel. If you're ready to cream harder than last time, then let's get into it. Before we get started, as you may know, Ella French, who I knew most of my life, was shot in the head while doing a routine car stop in the Inglewood neighborhood of Chicago. I would like to try and give back and raise awareness to the injured or fallen officers by giving any money that I make off my PE science code or my AdSense over the next week to the Chicago Police Memorial Foundation. I think it is important to try and give back in any way that I can, and I believe using this platform or the platform that I have built is a great way to do so. So thank you to anyone in advance who uses the code or watches this video in the next week. Per usual, we are going to get our mix-ins out of the way. I don't wanna have to worry about the mix-ins when it's already blending and I'm trying to scramble and get things together. So we are going to use a half serving of real cinnamon toast crunch or about 20 grams. You can choose to leave them whole. You can choose to crush them up. I like crushing a good amount of them up, but leaving a couple of the squares whole so you get a nice diversification throughout your cream. On top of that, they have these 90 calorie cinnamon toast crunch soft baked bars which I would like to add in as well. How easy was that? Our mixins are out of the way. Now let's move on to the cream. If you guys haven't noticed yet, I have now upgraded to a beautiful new Ninja that we will use here today, but everything is the exact same and any Ninja that you have will work for this cream. We will start with 80 grams of fat-free Greek yogurt. We will follow that up by 80 grams of fat-free skim milk or whatever milk you like. This is high protein, more protein, more satiating, more filling, blah, blah, blah. Usually I have a real vanilla extract, but since I am on vacation, I'm using this imitation vanilla. Either will work 4.2 grams. And if you don't have a point scale, which I highly suggest you get, anything that I use is down in the description below then you can use four grams on your regular old scale, but you definitely will need a scale for this recipe. I will then crush in two grams of salt. Lastly, before our first mix, we will add 420 grams of ice to our blender. I like to level out the playing field here. Usually I'm gonna have you set your timer for 60 seconds. This one has an automatic timer on it, and let me tell you, when you make creams every day, it is a blessing. But if you don't have it, set a timer on your phone, set a timer on the microwave, and I will see you back in about 60 seconds. Okay, bye. Such a beautiful thing. Don't even gotta worry about it. Nowadays, we take our stick out of the blender so we don't eat pieces of plastic spatula. It's a beautiful thing. Give it a nice mix. We bring that nice smoothness from the bottom to the top, and we bring those ice chunks on the top to the bottom to make sure in the next mix that they get all chopped up, and you have a nice, smooth cream every time. We put our blender stick back in, easy peasy, and we go in this exact order. We got our vanilla pudding mix, seven grams. Now we got our guar gum xanthan gum combo, makes for a smoother cream, gram and a half of each. If you don't have both, that is okay. You can use one or the other. Just make sure you have one of them. And again, if you're looking for either of these, all the links for all of this stuff is in the description. I make sure I have it all linked. For this cream, we will be using our PE Science code E4CM for 15% off. And again, anything that I make from using my code will be given to the Chicago Police Memorial Foundation. If you don't have the snickerdoodle flavor, I would highly get it regardless of this cream because it is the best one I've had so far. And this is the one we are using for this cream, snickerdoodle cinnamon 
gives that nice authentic cinnamon toast crunch taste, especially after we add our mix in. And for this, we are using one scoop or 31 grams. On top of that, we got both Swerve Brown, Swerve Granular, they make for a beautiful combination. Again, we want that brown sugar goodness along with our granular for that authentic cinnamon swirl taste, just like the cereal. So we got 10 grams of brown, 10 grams of granular, and feel free to change this to your degree of sweetness. The sweeteners don't really matter that much, but for an ice cream, I love it super sweet, so I'm gonna make it super sweet. For the last and final ingredient, we have our cinnamon. We're gonna use one gram. I use two, it's almost too cinnamony, but if you like a very, very cinnamony taste, or if you're using like a vanilla protein because you don't have the snickerdoodle, I would put two grams in. But for these purposes, one gram only. And that's it. We're gonna blend twice, we're gonna mix it up, and we're gonna cream together very, very soon. So I'll see you back in one minute. All we have to do now is wipe the windows down, AKA bring our cream up the walls of this blender and then wipe it off. And then we are ready to mix one more time and we are gonna eat. And again, bring the cream from the bottom to the top, really thoroughly mix it. We want as little ice chunks as possible. Typically I'll get one, maybe two, if anything. And we're ready to mix one more time for one more minute on high. <laughs> All we gotta do is mix our mixins in. And what I would normally do is, cause I eat it right out of the blender, I'll mix about half to about two thirds of these in, and then I will top the rest. But I'm gonna pour it for you, show you what creamy thickness that I make on my channel, and I'm gonna top it a little bit at the very end here. But do it however you want. And with this amount of mixins, you will be able to get mixins in every single bite. like without a doubt. And we're talking five and a half cups of cream with straight cinnamon toast crunch softness, crunchiness, mm, sugariness on your tongue. And it's beautiful with every bite. Let's pour. It's like slow motion, but not in slow motion. Ooh, Lord. I mean, does much more really need to be said? <laughs> Come on. Come on. You know a cream is like a cream. You ever been getting a soft serve out of the actual machine and there's holes? Why is there holes? Because it's nice, thick, soft serve cream. You'll know if you're getting a nice, juicy cream if you have these holes throughout. Just a little bit of topping here, a little sprinkling. See, what's good is even if you don't put the mix-ins in, the cream can stand alone. I would say, if you're gonna do it that way, I would add a little bit more sugar, whether that be swerve or whatever you wanna add, but the consistency and everything else is on point regardless if you add mix-ins or not. To me, the best bites are when you get the crunchy and the soft big bar in one bite, game over. Well, look who we have here. We have Ethan Harold. If you haven't checked them out already, you should. They both tried the cream the first test run 10 days ago, and I have made about 12 of these since then. They tried every day after the gym. I've never seen anyone eat more than him, and it's kind of strange, but I respect the hustle, for sure. So as somebody who hasn't tried his original Cinnamon Toast Crunch Protein, from a year ago. I don't really have anything to compare it to, but based off of that taste test alone, it's delicious. So personally, I'm someone who believes that mix-ins can make or break a certain cream, but with this one, I can tell that just without any topping, if you didn't have anything to mix it in, if you wanna save on some calories for a lot of you who are trying to cut, it would taste great even without the mix-ins, and I'm being completely honest. I actually need to take another freaking bite of this stuff. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. This is really good. That is actually like, and delicious. Like I want to like say, oh, I can taste this, 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 but the truth is it tastes like cinnamon toast crunch. Make the hell out of this. Subscribe to me now. All right, musket. Hmm. Bro, I'm getting freaking chopped vibes out of this container. <laughs> mm. I like that. I like that a lot. I am gonna cap to you. There's a reason I haven't made cinnamon protein ice creams because I usually 
I don't like the brands of protein I use and whatnot, but you made it work. All right, musket. Let's also go over the macros. They have a real cinnamon toast crunch ice cream that they made about a year ago that they used to carry. So I'm going to base my macros off the real cinnamon toast crunch ice cream. For one and two third cups of real cream, it was 397 calories, 14 fats, 61 carbs, seven protein. One and two thirds cups. For over five cups of my cream, you are getting 409 calories. So, you know, 12 more calories, but also three times the volume. Seven fat, 67 carb, 49 of which are net carbs and 39 protein. Three times the volume, seven times the protein and half the fat. It's a no brainer you saw the pour you you just know the cream king's gonna deliver come on so if you want to support the channel like i said you could check out the pe science link that i have down in the pinned comments or you can check out any of the gorilla mode products which all of their products from the sleeping pills to the pre-workouts to the post-workouts to literally the fat burners everything is science backed and i'm a huge science person coming from an exercise physiology background so i would definitely check them out don't just believe me do your own research and i guarantee you you will love the product and i have another cream that i'm going to make right after this that is going to come out very soon and is also cinnamon based and it is definitely a childhood favorite but until next time i will see you in that next one do see